Hello, I am your host, Jay Stank, and welcome to another DOSBox tutorial. Uh, this tutorial will show you how to uh, organize your DOSBox into nice, easy menus in which you can organize your games and have all of your DOSBox games put onto uh, run out of one file and then you have a menu that will be able to select the games within that uh, DOS box. It's really easy to do um, and I'm going to show you how to do it. First of all we're going to have a demonstration of what uh, the menu system could look like. Uh, for instance, let's say I go open up my DOS box and I want to make a Doom. I will hit the 1 key and that will select, uh, well, it'll say, well, which Doom do you want to play? And then I can select 3 to go back, or I can select 2. I, I want to play Doom 2, so I hit 2, and there's Doom 2. As you can see, it works. And then whenever you, and whenever you go back, and sorry about the, the volume, but whenever you go back into the DOS box menu, it'll go back to the original menu. So, what I'm going to show you is how to do that. Also, uh, other features of this is if you have more than nine menus, it kind of gets a little wonky, so you hit eight, so there's more games, and then you can go back to the menu, or you can also exit, and you can go out to DOSBox proper like that, but after that you're pretty much out of it and you can't come back in, but if you restart it, uh, it will come back and say, oh, which game do you want to play? And you can say, well, I want to play Jurassic Park. Hit 6, and Jurassic Park opens. So, <clears throat> how do you do that? First thing uh, is that you can go into your DOSBox options. So it's DOSBox.74 options like that, it'll open up a notepad, and at the very bottom there is a, a an area where you want to put all of your games. And so this is how you do this. First thing you want to do is we want to mount each game that you have to a different directory. So I have mount A as C DOSBox Doom, mount B C DOSBox Duke 1, just like that. So any game that you have, so I have Warcraft 1, I have Warcraft 2, I will mount each individual game to a new directory. This is what you do if you normally want to just start a game. So if I wanted to do an auto exec I would say mount A, C, DOSBox Doom, and then the next thing I would write would be down here, right here, you would go A, CD Doom, Doom, CLS, and go to start. Or no, you wouldn't type the CLS, but you would go CD Doom, Doom. Right, so that's so this, th this would all be up here normally. But the problem is, is whenever you click the button, it will automatically do that and it will go to Doom every time. But we don't want to go to Doom every time. We want to select the game that we want to play off the menu. So to do that, the next thing you have to do is you have to come down here and type echo off, at echo off. That will start up that'll make it able to do the rest of the things. CLS will clear the screen. Uh, you want to put the section of the program that you're using, which I named Start, so I can refer back to that later. Type CLS to clear the screen again. I don't know why I cleared it twice, but you don't have to, but I cleared it twice. And then you hit Echo to make the menu. So echo command will basically print on the DOSBox screen uh, anything that you type after that. So basically I have echo stars, 
I go to DOSBox menu, I labeled this menu page one of two, I have Echo 1, Doom, and then I have the, the options. So all that's pretty simple, right? So basically you know how to mount something, I'm going to mount games, so you're just mounting everything at one time. And now instead of typing these things into DOSBox, like all every time, so you have to know all the codes, you just have everything right here. So then you say, I want to make a choice. I want to make a choice between 1 through 9. So this is what this represents. Choice, so you type, this is a command, right? Choice, space, slash, C, 1 through 9, and I put space, choose one, and that'll print choose one here. So then, th this is the only, this is really the only hardest part to this. So after you write that, and then you can write, if error level, space 9, space go to, space exit. So that means that if I choose the number 9 key, I will go to the exit. And then that directs the program to say exit to do this, to do this command. So if I type 9, it'll say exit, and then it'll say, uh, it'll t tell it to bring up this, this section of the code, CLS, and then it'll echo all these things, it'll print out the, these, and then I'll say, what would you like to do? Choice one, two, or three. So then I say, well, I want to go back to the menu. So I hit three. So if error level three, go to start two. So then the, the, the computer will say, okay, where's start two? It'll look through all the things that you play. So basically start two goes to CLS, go to start. Start goes all the way back up to the beginning. So it'll loop back to the beginning. Uh, conversely, if we say, let's say I wanted to uh, go to Wolf 3D, right? I want to play Wolfenstein 3D. So I would type um, blah, blah, blah. So what happens is you get this. You say, OK, I want to, uh, error level 5. Air level 5 is go to Wolf 3D, and then it goes to Wolf 3D, and it says, well, I know I programmed it. I said, well, I already put it in G, which I did. See, I'm out to G, and then uh, Wolf, and then the command for uh, starting Wolf 3D in DOSBox is Wolf 3D, CLS, go to start. So basically what this does is this will play Wolf 3D, so you play, 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 when you're done, you exit Wolf 3D, you go back to the DOS box. Now it'll go to the next command, which will clear the screen and go back to start. And then it'll go back to start. So that's how you that's how you um, do the DOS box or build the DOS box uh, menus, and it's really really easy actually. Now, so here in my DOS box and I say just like I said before I wanted to go to Wolfenstein 3D I would hit the 5 button I would head into Wolfenstein 3D and I quit I quit I go back to DOS box and it comes back to the menu. And now I can play a different game. Or let's say I wanted to run setup for Wolf 3D, but I didn't want to um, do that. I would hit 9. And then I would hit back to Windows, or back to DOSBox proper, which is 2. And that'll take me out to uh, DOSBox, in which then I could type anything that I wanted into DOSBox. So here I'm in, I'm in the Doom folder. And then I can hit setup, and then uh, that will run the setup for whatever game that's it's under C, which is Duke Nukem 3D.
So that's an overview on how you set up a DOSBox for multiple games at one time. And hope maybe next time I will do a tutorial. I will do an example where I will set one up and we'll do it together. So until next time, this is Jay Sink signing out. Have a good day.